Hey, good morning, everyone. I am Paul Apollonia. I'm going to show you what I sold on eBay for last week, uh, starting from uh, April 20th to April 26th, 2020. Hey, again, let me introduce myself. I'm Paul Apollonia. I've been selling on eBay for what feels like forever. Started at around 2004, dilly dallied around goofed around with it for a couple of years, didn't really take it seriously till around 2008, and then uh, got involved in um, doing uh, some consignment on eBay. It was a trading assistant back then. That's what they called it, where eBay would, there was, you type in consignment and then your name would pop up if you were in the area. And they got rid of that program, and then I became an education specialist, training people in eBay, on eBay, through eBay, through their program. They got rid of that too, but I still... <laughs> I still stayed with both and love doing both. I love doing consignment. The key with consignment is finding good clients that know the value of their item and are not ridiculous. Like, for example, hey, uh, my grandfather had this cassette. Sorry for the glare in the background, that window, and I don't have a shade for it. Uh, this cassette's worth about uh, $20,000, right? Uh, no, it's worth whatever market value is. So if you can find clients that are willing to sell things at market value, which most of them will be able to, just explain that to them. Consignment can be a great side income for you. I am work, still working on that course, that consignment course. I'm going to have it available shortly. Very affordable. And uh, the training I do one-on-one, -on -one, small group. Well, right now it's all Zoom. So I do Zoom training. <laughs> for people with this uh, virus situation going on. And I hope everybody is good to go there following rules and procedures and whatever. Just please just be careful, especially if you're an older person like me at 59, you want to just be careful. I try not to go out much. I do go out once a day to the post office because there's issues with the post office, picking up stuff at my house. And then I drive around for a little bit and then come home. All right, let's get the shoe in the road. Let me get um, showing you what I sold on eBay. This is a selection of what I sold on eBay. Most of these items are low dollar items. People don't, some eBay businesses don't like selling low dollar items. It's however you want to run your business is fine with me. I have no problem selling something, making a couple bucks. Like let's see if say it's cassette tape. Throwing in a poly envelope, goes up, whatever, media mail, first class, it's gone in one minute. It takes me a few minutes just to list it. I'm okay with that. Some people are not, and that is totally fine. I get most of my items for free through just asking around, and I also do parting out of small engines and outdoor equipment. So most of my stuff I get for free or under consignment. There's a lot of free stuff out there. Keep your eyes out and peeled for Craigslist free on Craigslist free and other uh, internet groups like that. And also, please, 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 I've mentioned this several times, please tell everybody what you're doing. I sell on eBay. I sell used things. I don't care if you sell on Amazon, Etsy, wherever you're selling. If you're selling new stuff, who cares? Tell everybody because right now the thrift stores are closed. And there are lots of great items you can grab from people. And most of the time, they will just let you keep them. Or you can also give them back a percentage if you want to do it that way, and they can give it to their favorite thrift store, however you want to do it. But there are lots of free items out there right now. All right. So, like I said, low-dollar items. Uh, these are lawnmower handle bolts. You know, you unscrew them and fold the handle down. Um, I have lots of these. <laughs> I probably have 20 or 30 sets of these. They've been sitting in my garage for a couple of years. I just found them when I was cleaning out the garage. I went, oh, darn. Looked them up. I ain't making a lot of money on these, but it's a sale. I make probably about four or five dollars on these. There are ways. Let me get a drink of that tea. Sorry. There are ways to um, save on shipping. Uh, I don't do it. A lot of people will put a stamp, or I think each stamp is one ounce. I think these went out at two or three ounces. I can't remember. I could have used postage stamps, but then you don't get tracking. And you don't get tracking through eBay when you're using poster stamp. You can do it that way. So I pay probably about $280 to ship this out, $245 via first class mail. Could have bought a couple stamps. I don't even know how much stamps are today, but I know people that do it. I receive things with stamps on them. 
from eBay very quickly. This is going to be a long video, probably like tons of items here. I'm going to show you. It's been a busy week. Like I said, it's a selection. Uh, let me show you doing my listings. My titles are Google friendly and eBay friendly. I'm not worried about grammar. I rarely ever use a dash. I use the dash here because that is the name of it. Troy built. Um, I tried to keep these pretty generic because these will fit a million and trillion lawnmowers. Um, I also put, I'm selling multiples of these and I always put in the item condition description, what I'm sell, uh, uh, if I'm selling multiples, I'm selling multiples of these items. So the ones you see may not be the ones you get, meaning it could be a little rusty, a little different looking, but they will get basically that, but it may look differently. I'm doing free shipping because all the ones, excuse me, I looked at, uh, had free shipping. I'm not a fan of free shipping, but I do it anymore. If I see the items sold have free shipping, I use free shipping. That other one was tea. This is coffee. I just drank. Um, so what else I'm going to show you? I do, there's my, that I try and use item specifics when I can. Very important. eBay and Google love item specifics. You're going, when you're creating them or when you're selecting them, you're going to see a pull down menu on each item specific. Game, you said it right. Specific, whatever. Um, you want to pick one of those options because it's been searched by millions. You can create your own like I did here. Um, length is two inches, but stuff like that. Knob and bolt set. Unbranded, which it is. There's my description, short and sweet. Um, like I said, same thing up in my condition description. I put down here, nothing fancy. As far as shipping, I am using global shipping program, eBay's global shipping program. Let me make that a little bit smaller. You see my ugly mug that big, um, which is I can ship internationally, but it's handled through eBay. I ship it to Kentucky. Their, their site in Kentucky, once eBay gets it, they email me or message me. I forget what it is. I keep on forgetting how they, how they get in contact with me and says and say they have it. I am out of the picture. Make sure you pack it properly and correctly. Once, Like I said, once eBay has it and they can lose it, break it, somebody can steal it, uh, they pay for it and you are out of the picture. 99% of the time, I only have heard few people I've known have problems with global shipping. A lot of people don't like it because they whatever they say, there's more taxes taken out or whatever. It's a lot easier than shipping internationally. So I think it is. Um, so I enjoy it. I use it. I usually pick um, for shipping. I usually do economy shipping, but since I know this is going out first class, I chose first class economy shipping gives you the ability to use any of the shipping options in eBay, post office, FedEx, whatever. Any option within post office, any option within FedEx, if you pick a shipping option on your shipping, like if I pick priority USPS mail, I'd have to ship it priority USPS mail. If I don't do that and there's a problem with it, eBay will not back me up. So that's why I pick economy and it says five to 10 days, but I ship it 95% of the time it goes out either post office priority or FedEx ground. Um, I use FedEx Ground for things going on in the West Coast. The very large things, I use FedEx Smart Post. Be careful with FedEx Smart Post. There is no insurance. It's a collaboration between the post office and FedEx. I heard that um, if you take it to FedEx, it goes to the closest FedEx office, and then post office picks it up. If you take it to the post office, it goes by mule or snail mail, snail, whatever to the closest post office and FedEx picks it up. I just take it to the FedEx office. Cigar boxes, cigar boxes, cigar boxes. I talk about cigar boxes all the time. My one vice is smoking cigars every once in a while. I did have two this weekend. Don't smoke that many of them, but I do enjoy them. At the cigar store, wine store, I look over. I always, sometimes, I haven't seen cigar boxes lately in a couple of weeks, to be honest with you. So maybe somebody else has taken them. <laughs> I always buy a few cigars and I say, hey, are those boxes available? And they say, yep, take as many as you want. I just buy a few just to, so I buy a few and say, hey, I already bought these cigars today. Give me a problem. You don't make a ton of money on these, but these are free items. I love free items. I love getting free stuff as long as it doesn't take me a lot of time. I'm walking out of a cigar store. I grab the boxes. They even give me a bag sometimes. Put them in the bag, bring them home, list them. Cost me nothing to get them. I'm on my way home anyway and I have to go anywhere else. Uh, I made, uh, I do free shipping on these because 99% of them are free shipping. Got it for nothing. I made um, 
went out first class. I made about $10 on this for a free item. You're going to see a lot of cigar boxes in this listing this time. This is from my old, old, old van I got rid of back in January. I thought, what the heck? Let me just, I was going to throw it away. And I thought, let me just list it on eBay. As you can see, I didn't ask much for it because the new ones were going for $42. With free shipping. Uh, I didn't make much money on this at all. I probably made about $7 on this. Um, I found a box upstairs in the attic. I have tons of boxes. Fit it perfectly. I just folded the top over so it went right, you know, snugged it all close together. Uh, shipping was a little expensive. It went out to FedEx because it went somewhere out to the Midwest. They got it the other day. I'm assuming they're happy with it. Um, I had no idea this thing was going to sell, to be honest with you. I was really I was really good with measurements. There's all the different measurements. I'm really anal with the measurements so people know what they're getting. Uh, are the measurements in the new? No. Oh boy. Usually I uh, put the measurements actually physically in the description. I guess I did not, but I did state measurements are in the last photos, which they are. Using all the items specifics. Like I said, I didn't make much much money on this, but it, it was okay. It, it got it out of my garage. It was a big item. I was happy. Cigar boxes. Free. I had these listed individually for a while, and they weren't selling, so I listed them as a group. $33. They went out priority mm -hmm. mail. They went up to New Jersey. This guy actually bought two sets of these. This set one day and another set a day or two later. I made $20 on these four cigar boxes. Mm -hmm. It cost me nothing. Not much money, I know, but to me, it's good enough. Most of my sales are between uh, almost nothing to probably about $30. I do get those gems of $100, $500. Those are rare and foreign. Between these are my bread and butter, which is fine. So like I said, I made about 20 bucks on this after shipping. It went out in one of those um, 12 by 12 priority boxes. I just crushed it down a little bit or used my box sizer tool and sized it down. To, to snug the boxes around it. Put a little bit of bubble wrap around it, and it was fine. Didn't make much on, much money on this sale at all because it went out west, which was fine. I got these for nothing, clearing out a shed of a friend of mine's. I probably already made about $300 off the stuff from the shed he gave me, so I just listed the stuff. And funny, I'd get messages like, well, I only want the two claw scratcher things, whatever they call these things over here. I don't know what they're called. Would you sell that to me separately? I'm like, I only want $12.99 plus $9.99 shipping for all of them. Just buy them all. I never responded to those. Finally, somebody bought them. Shipped them out last week. Made not much. About six bucks off of this. So, But they fit right into a box. I had any reason any packing paper. It was pretty snug fit. Oh, I did. I'm sorry. Did I wrap the claws? Anything with sharp edges, I wrapped with uh, brown paper. Uh, the last dishwash soap dispenser. Been selling these like crazy. I haven't gotten any dishwashers in lately. Actually, I haven't been looking for any. I've been trying to uh, clear up my inventory in the house here, in the garage, in the attic, in the closets, <laughs> and organize them. Uh, free shipping made about $13 on this. Again, it was free from a dishwasher. Um, I'm working, I, I am currently working on a course for parting out dishwashers too. The main parts I get out of the dishwasher are the racks, the soap dispenser, and the control board. And that is it anymore. I used to take all the parts out and try and sell everything. The other stuff sells for almost nothing. I know you just saw some items that sold for almost nothing, but it's not worth taking all that stuff apart to, to make very little bit of money like that. Um, one real quick thing. I had a problem with, with this one. The guy returned it because the connector on his dishwasher was different, which I've never seen before. So I relisted this once I got it back, and he actually paid for shipping because in the listing it says I'm not responsible for it not fitting. He didn't have to honor that. He could have just submitted a return, but he didn't. He went. Over, he just sent it back to me, which is nice of him. Um, I said, please take a look at the last photo for the connector because I've never seen the connector not fit. Uh, these I found these in my dining room next to the serving table on the floor with the charger. <laughs> I thought, what the heck are these things doing? Where are they? Who gave these to me? What? They're not mine. Um, <laughs> it turns out a friend of mine gave them to me. Um, sold one of these a day, and I sold the other one, you'll see. So I sold two of these. 
within two days, I made about uh, $12 a piece on them. Oh, wait, no, no more than that because I went on first class. Probably about $13, $14 a piece on them for something I just found in my dining room. I listed it for parts not working. I'm going to tell you that because I had no way of testing it. I'm sure they worked. I don't know. I could have gotten a lot more for them if they were working, but I don't have the, the console and I don't really have any desire to try and find a console. A lot of times it's best just to make the quick buck and get it out of here. Ooh, I do some side work. Always good to do side work. I don't care what you're doing. Full-time work, part-time work, eBay, whatever. Always good to have side income. I do work with some realtors that I put their signs up, take their signs down, and take all the staging materials out of the home or condo, whatever it is, at the end before it sells. This was sitting behind. I asked, hey, who's this? Is anybody? Is this anybody's lockbox? No, 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 no. I said, okay. So it was open. It wasn't closed. So I looked it up how to reset it. I reset it. And I didn't make much money on it. Uh, made about $12. Not bad. I was tempted to keep this, but I didn't. Uh, I pulled most of this stuff off of uh, Google, the model number, all this stuff, and I put it in the other specifics, and I also put the internal dimensions in the other specifics, specifics, and a bunch of other stuff. That is pulled right from eBay. Um, when you create your listing, you'll see at the top, find item or whatever it says, find something right up there. Um, click on that and put information about the item, and it should populate and say, hey, we found an item it's just like yours. You want to use that. Make sure that it matches your item. Very important. Make sure it matches your item and then use that because that'll populate your, your specifics. Uh, part of the Dyson group, I partnered out a Dyson vacuum, vacuum cleaners a couple years ago, sold a bunch of parts, forgot about the rest, listed them a couple weeks ago. This is the fourth or fifth set of parts I've sold from what I listed a couple weeks ago. Not making much on this. First class mail, a couple ounces, probably made about $7. Dishwasher rack. I usually sell these for more, but this is what this one was going for. And with that blasted free shipping, it went out California. Mm. FedEx, which is the cheapest for me to get it to California. Did not make much money on this at all. But these take up a lot of room and in inventory, to be honest with you. They can be real good money makers. The Bosch racks are do very, very well. You can make 60, 70 bucks profit from a dot from a Bosch rack. The other ones, okay. If they're on the East Coast, if I saw them on the East Coast, I do really, really well. Excuse me, I probably made 15 bucks on this. How I pack these people I ask, I'll have this in my video when I I'll have this in my uh, training uh, thing when I create it is I get a box from Lowe's or Home Depot, a large one, cut it open, flip it inside out, so the writing's on the inside, lay this down, and start folding it over here, folding it over, cut the box, tape it. I've been using um, uh, that black tape, not the duct tape, the Gorilla tape, for the, once I fold it down once, to hold it down, and then I use the eBay tape or packing tape, and just, you're just gift wrapping it, basically, and you're folding each end over, and you're taping the living heck out of the box. You don't want any edges or anything to get caught on any kind of conveyor belt, <clears throat> and I just weigh it, and I measure it, and I get it off. <clears throat> I used to mess around with boxes and bubble wrap, and but they're, they're not going to go anywhere in the heavy-duty box. <clears throat> uh, found got this whole deal years and years ago. Uh, did a bunch of consignment for somebody. Had a bunch of PS2 games and controllers and sold all that stuff. And stuff was left behind. And we were like, whatever. I paid them some money for it, and we were good. Not making a lot of money on these. I call these um, just low end sales, loss leader sales, whatever you want to call them. I probably made a buck or two on this, but it is a simple ship. List it, put it in, put it in a poly envelope, or however you want to work it. You can put your own stamps on it. But I shipped it out. It's got to go first class. Cannot go media mail because it is a game. Games cannot go media mail. I would not try and push the system. So it went first class. I think it was uh, I don't know, two twenty five, two forty to ship it. So as you can see. Did not make much money on it, but I um, I did this with um, video. Um, 
gosh, DVDs a while back. I'm still selling them. I've done, I've shown you guys several videos within videos of what I do there. I truly believe that this is why I had really good Christmas sales and I didn't even sell that much Christmas stuff because I was selling a lot of stuff. I was selling a lot of low end stuff to get action into my store or into my eBay account. I think it's very important to have these sales going on. You can do it through replenishables, which is really easy to do. Just go to Lowe's or Home Depot and look on eBay and see what's selling and look for the item at Lowe's or Home Depot and make sure that they have that item in stock all the time. Like, I don't know, like let's say a set of screws. Okay, they're going to be in stock all the time. And uh, grab maybe 10 of them, list them. And then when you get down to about five, when your party level gets low, just go buy more of them. You don't have to buy cases of stuff. Just something that will be consistent sales. These gas tanks. <laughs> I had these gas tanks listed about three years ago and couldn't sell a darn one. And these are from older trimmers. I mean, these trimmers got to be 10, 15 years old. Um, I listened again about two months ago. I think this is the fifth or sixth one I've sold. You, you may see another one in this group of listings. So I guess they're still out there. So shame I threw all the other parts away to these things. I just didn't think they were going to sell, which I looked at several times <clears throat> and didn't see any solds for the other parts. So I make about uh, $10, $9, $10 a piece on these. These go, I just wrap them in a little bit of bubble wrap and put them in a poly envelope and get them out of here. They're first class, a couple ounces, and they're gone. So it's a quick $9 sale. Uh, my daughter was cleaning out a room, and this was an old DS that she dropped in the water. We won't talk about that. <laughs> and um, listed it, had it listed for six minutes. Sold in six minutes. I went right into the box, went right into a, a padded flat rate envelope. It went out west somewhere. I forget where it went to, but that saved me a lot of money. That was seven seventy five or seven eighty five in shipping. So I made a buck or two on shipping, which is great. I have no problem making some money on shipping because I'm using my time and my my equipment and my boxes and my packing material to do the shipping. It's called handling, but I don't charge a handling fee. It's just part of my shipping. When I charge shipping, I was up at a couple of bucks. Um, so that went out pretty quick. In six minutes, that sold. I was real honest in the description. I had to look at it. I had no idea. I don't know nothing about all this stuff. Uh, there's information right from eBay, from their product thing. Selling it as is for parts not working. Missing the stylus, which I had no idea it has stylus. So I saw the hole in there. No SD card. You get what you see. Pretty clear. Pretty to the point. Made uh, probably 14 bucks on that, which my daughter was going to throw it away. And I said, wait, don't throw that away. I'll, I'll, I'll sell it. Uh, these air filters, this I, this was the last one I sold. I sold seven of these. Again, another another item I had listed years ago and couldn't sell one. I sold all of these, and I sold all of the other ones I had. Uh, these I don't make much money on. I'll probably make about five, six bucks on them, depending where I'm shipping them to. They all go first class, put it in a poly envelope, and it's out of here. Um, the other ones I made about $9 on. So, um, you know, even four bucks. I paid nothing for them. They're in a box. I, oh, did I sold one. Or cha -ching, I sold one. I run and get it, put it in a poly envelope, seal it. I, it's, it's like two ounces. It goes out two ounces. Like, again, I could use stamps, but I prefer to go through eBay shipping because I have protection using eBay shipping. This is an item I got from Bulk. B-U-L-Q. I won a $500 gift certificate from them at Ecom Chicago 2019, which is a great event in October. Knock on wood. Hopefully this year we will have it again. And I am being, I'm a, I'm a speaker there this year talking about parting out things. Um, I only bought two, uh, two uh, boxes from bulk so far. I still need to spend the rest of the money. I just haven't had time to look at the inventory. Uh, I sold something for a hundred bucks. I sold something else for eight bucks or 10 bucks. I sold this and I sold something else. I can't remember. Um, so obviously I made money on it, but I didn't pay anything for it with any of these companies. Just make sure you look at the manifest really, really good before you buy the box to make sure you can sell what's in the box. You're not going to sell everything in the box. Some of it's going to be junk. They're going to put other stuff in there 
hey, we all got to make money, whatever. Um, I love bulk. They've been really good to me. I've had them in my meetup uh, group a couple times. They've zoomed in. Great people. Uh, made, I think this went out west too again. I forget. I think I may have had to use FedEx on this one. I think I made about 15 bucks on this, maybe 14, maybe 13. Great story here. Good old story from November. I went to a ham fest, which is a basically a big flea market for amateur radio operators, ham operators. And as we really, I always buy things to resell or I really don't buy anything to, to, to use for the hobby. I'm not really that active. As I was leaving on how I missed it, I saw a whole table full of manuals. Should have just bought them all. But I did not. I paid a dollar a piece and I grabbed any manual that had the word scope on it. Oscilloscope, scope, anything like that. Any kind of um, metering machine. Because I know the oscilloscope manuals are not found anymore. And I know they go for good money. I paid a dollar for each of these manuals. This has got to be the fifth or sixth manual I've sold for $28.99 with free shipping. Goes out media mail. Shipping costs at the most $3.00. So you figure that out. I want to be making $20, $22 a piece on these manuals. I will take that all day long. Quick ship right into a poly envelope, fold it over, goes out media mail. Love getting things for free. Love finding deals like this. People walk by this stuff all the time. I almost walked by it. I couldn't believe it. We're ready to go. Okay, I'm ready to go. Let's go. And I'm going, wait a minute. What's that over there? <laughs> so love, love, love making Money on stuff. Puzzles, puzzles, puzzles. You got puzzles? List them now. People are stuck inside. I've had these listed for a while. These are intricate puzzles. So um, $24.99, yes, free shipping again, because that's what they're going. That's what people are doing is free shipping. I made about 12 bucks on this. Shipping was a little high. I think, again, it went out west. Sometimes I get nothing going out west for a week or two at a time, and other times I get everything I sell is out west. Another piece to the um, Sony uh, controllers. The last one, this was number three I sold. $22 first class mail. Probably made about $15 on this again. So it's 15 times three for something I found in my dining room. I'm going to sell the charging station next for probably about 15 bucks. Again, for parts not working, so I have no idea if it's working or not. I know it held a charge. The charge light did go on, go off when it got charged up. Uh, my wife's old, 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 old phone I found in a drawer. This is the second phone I found in a drawer this week or the past two weeks. Excuse me. Did not list it for much because there's some problems with it. I said for parts not working, obviously. Be honest in what you're selling. Tell the person what is wrong with it, what you feel is wrong with it. This is what I said. This is all the information. eBay pulls down from the phone. Make sure it's the right carrier. It's from Verizon. I know that. I'm selling it as is. And I'm telling them what's wrong. The screen has some minor small cracks and edge and on the edges. And the battery does not hold a charge. There may be other things wrong with it. You're buying the phone. Nothing else. Has been in a drawer for years. Now what I did up here. Let me show you. Now, one guy was meant to. Well, how's the LCD? How's the LCD? I'm like. The first picture is showing you the LCD, and there's other pictures. And he goes like, well, I can't trust that picture. Sometimes people use different pictures. I'm like, well, that's other people. Don't assume everybody is going to rip you off. I hate when people do that. Ay, ay, ay. I've never ripped off anybody doing what I'm doing. Well, never in my life. There's a picture with it on, with it off so you can see any imperfections. There are the cracks in the screen. I have no idea what they're from. on there it is again oh no that's oh that's charging that's it being charged up and that's another screen picture back of the phone close up of what it is so that is it like i said didn't make much money on that probably made about 20 bucks on that went out first class i think i even insured it it went up to jersey or new york vacuum cleaner part i found this vacuum cleaner 
at the thrift store next to the dumpster months and months and months ago. I sold a canister, sold the hoses, sold something else off of it. So I was happy for nothing. I probably made about 60 bucks off of this vacuum cleaner that I got for nothing. Uh, board games sell. You're not going to make much money on some of the board games. I made hardly nothing on this. This is what it was going for. Could not really charge more than what it was going for because that's just the way it is. Shipping was a lot more than that because it went out west again. I think it was like nine bucks or something. I didn't make much, much money on this. Probably made about six bucks on this, but it was okay. I got it for nothing. It was fine. It was good. I wish I could have made more money on it, but I didn't. <clears throat> few more items left. <coughs> Excuse me. An old portable emergency CB radio. Now, I don't know if this is happening, but I am having a very hard time believing I had free shipping on this. A lot of people are saying eBay is changing some of your listings from shipping to free shipping. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's, I don't recall that happening to me, but I have a hard time thinking I did this for free shipping. Now, I did look at, after I sold it, I did look at other listings out there, and a lot of them did have free shipping. So, I probably did have it as free shipping because everybody else was doing free shipping. But, again, this went out west. Did not make much money on this. I think it cost me about $10, $12 to just ship the stupid thing out there. But I got it for nothing. It was hanging around the house. I found it in my inventory. It's gone. It was a quick ship right into a box that I had, fit right into it. Went out. I think it went out FedEx too. I'll tell you, FedEx has been so much cheaper to ship stuff out west compared to the post office. Uh, more lawnmower uh, parts. This is the part where the handle, uh, where the rope is next to the handle, so you don't have to bend down all the way to get the mower. I'm thinking, I'm not going to sweat. What? I'm going to sell these things. I found these in the garage a couple months ago. I thought, I'm not going to sweat. I must have a million of these things. I'm just going to throw them out. I thought, well, let me see what they're going for on eBay. Again. A low dollar sale. I make about four dollars on these, but again, it is obviously I use a smaller envelope than this. I take that little tiny thing and go and seal it up. I was so tempted to try the stamp thing on this one because this was like one ounce. It would have been like one stamp on an envelope. But I thought, no, I'm not gonna keep my top rated status if I keep on power rating status, if I keep on if I were to keep on doing that. And I don't get tracking information. So I just let it go through the regular eBay shipping. Again, another game sold. Uh, made $5 on this game, believe it or not. This was another old game I got from that group of games. So that was cool. That goes out first class mail. Fan blades, fan blades, fan blades. I've told you guys about these before. Again, another free item I get from the thrift store. When they're open, they have a few shopping carts up front with free items, and there's always fan blades. I must have sold. I thought I had them all listed, but I did not, and I listed them all about a month ago. I must have sold 20 pairs of these different fan blades since then. Um, very simple. I take pictures up front. Hang on. Let me make this bigger. Fronts. Well, I usually take pictures of the backs, but I did not this time. I don't know why. Uh, fronts, and then usually backs, but they're not there. Sides, side, and then measurements. That's the measurement. The whole thing with measurements is getting your camera right so you get the right measurement on your photo. Because you'll see, oh, 16 and three quarters. Great. And then you're trying to get your, your camera. You're like, wait, that's 16. It's not. You just play around your camera, move it over till you get the right. So it's right above it. There's width, bottom width. What this is, is this is the width between the three screws. Let me show you what I did here. Saw this years ago. Somebody else was selling fan blades, and they had this template at the end of their listing. And I'm thinking, well, what a great idea. This is what I do. That's B's measurements, two and a half. That's A's, three, and whatever that is. Okay. And then I take this. I take those measurements. And I put them in the condition description. I put them in the description. And I put them in the specifics. So you can't miss them. I've only had one problem with a set of fan blades. Somebody bought it. And they didn't read the measurements properly. And they said, you know what? It's my fault. Don't even worry about it. So again, I get these for nothing. I'm getting gas. I'm in a thrift store. I don't go thrifting too often. But I'm getting gas most of the time. Oh, look, there's fan blades. Let me walk over there. 
grab them, bring them home, list them. They get about uh, 10 to $13 on these. I made uh, $15, believe it or not, on these because shipping was so low. It was locally. And we're close by. Well, that is about it this week, my friends. I hope everybody has a great week next week and hope you had a good week last week in sales. Don't forget, uh, I do run the uh, Raleigh eBay Meetup Group. We have been doing Zoom meetings last month, and this month I do charge $5 for the in-person meeting. I did this last Zoom meeting for free, but this month I'm going to charge $5. You're going to do a, a PayPal Me link. I'm going to send out, and once I get that payment of $5, I will send you the link to the Zoom meeting. If you'd like to join the Meetup, go to meetup.com and just type in Raleigh eBay Meetup Group or Raleigh eBay, or Raleigh Ecom, and I'm in that group there somewhere. And in in, just look for me. I'm not that far down the page. I um, also do training. So if you got any kind of training, any kind of questions, please just leave me a message or whatever, and we'll uh, get you signed up for some training. All right, my friends, you guys have a great day, and please, please, please be safe out there. Follow whatever precautions you feel necessary. Have a good day.